In this video I'm going to show you how to remove paint from old brass fittings and uh, restore them to something very close to their original finish. Start by uh, scraping the paint out of the screw heads and then unscrewing the fittings. The next stage is to place all of the fittings into a pan on the hob. Um, you want the water to be simmering, not boiling. Add a little bit of washing up liquid um, and leave it for about two to three hours. Ideally, this is a stage where you'd be um, sanding and painting the whole window. I don't have enough paint to do that today, so. Um, I'm just going to sand and paint around the areas where the fittings have been. And it's absolutely crucial that you do this before putting the fittings back on. This will ensure you have a nice uh, clean finish at the end. Okay, so I've just taken this one out of the water um, and you, now you can see just how easily the paint comes off. You can just peel it off with your hands. But the next stage is to um, sand it down. Now you can do this by hand, um, but I prefer to use a, an oscillating multi-tool with a sanding attachment. This will take off the uh, paint and get it back to the original brass really quickly. So you can see how quickly that's just, just gone back to the original uh, colour there. Okay, so I've taken this outside and um, sanded it all off. Um, you can still see that there's always going to be some little bits where you're never going to get all the paint off with the sandpaper. So this is the next stage where you're going to need um, a drill or ideally the Dremel tool um, with these Dremel attachments. Uh, little wire brushes um, and you'll just be able to get into all the little um, nooks and crannies and get the remainder of the paint off. Okay so we've got all the paint off it's starting to look quite nice and shiny. Um, one final thing I like to do is use some wet and dry paper to just get rid of any of the um, marks that some of the sandpaper has left there. So I've just got some uh, 240 grit wet and dry paper here and I'm just going to give it all a rub down in the uh, same direction which will just give it a nice brushed finish. So I've uh, repeated the process with the second part of the fitting and um, also done the screws and the final thing to do is just to give it a, a clean up with some Brasso uh, and then screw it back on. And I'm sure you'll agree that this looks a lot better than it did when it was covered in paint. I will uh, put links in the description of the products used in this video. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.